Hello there. What is going on, everybody? It's Ahsoka time. We're going to be putting together a list for Star Wars Legion using Ahsoka Tano, the latest rebel uber sauce to come to the game. Why uber sauce? Because that's a random little narrative word I just decided to come up with on the spot. This is what you get here on my channel. Random craziness. Uh, we're going to look at Ahsoka Tano. We're going to try and build a list. Uh, I think this will be a fun list and maybe a little bit risky. Uh, a lot of the builds I put together sometimes are a little on the risky side, but I think it'll also be a very fun list, and I think that's an important thing when you're playing Star Wars Legion. You want to have fun, and uh, you know sometimes you also really want to win, but when I play, I want to focus on having fun more so than winning, and uh, hopefully I can do a little bit of both. And hopefully that's what this list can do today. If you guys are new here to the channel, we do giveaways all the time. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos in order to uh, enter to win any of those. I just want to thank today's sponsor, Luxury Playstyle. Father's Day is just around the corner, folks. If you have children, let them know this would be a great gift. If you have a parent that plays, this would be a great gift for a parent. And if neither of those apply to you, it is a great time to treat yourself Get yourself some awesome full metal tokens compatible with Star Wars Legion, as well as tokens compatible with other games like X-Wing or Magic the Gathering. These are full metal, double-sided, amazing tokens. Definitely head over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com and check them out. And if you decide to uh, treat yourself, use code VIP. That'll save you 15%. Also, let your, tournaments, your tournament organizers and your stores know that these also make great prize support. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and get into the list. I'm going to be using Tabletop Admiral today. Uh, so Katano is an operative. She is going to be hitting the ground, running, trying to slice and dice enemies, also trying to capture some objectives and having a good time with this, uh, this whole gameplay uh, experience for Star Wars Legion. Uh, she's got jump two, charge, defend one, deflect, uh, immune to pierce, and jar Kai mastery, which is going to allow those dodges to upgrade attack die results. She has two red, two black, two white, uh, two training, and two force. She has surge to crit natively, which is extremely excellent, and uh, she'll have pretty reliable damage, pretty reliable DPS, as we like to say in uh, some some in the video gaming world. Um, she has got the red defense die. She has six health, three courage. Makes for a pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome character. 165 points, though she is not che cheap. So uh, what I wanted to do <clears throat> was I wanted to mix her and Luke. And uh, there's different Luke options, but I want to go with Jedi Luke. I want to have two complete monsters in this build. And uh, so we're going to run both L Jedi Luke and Ahsoka Tano in this particular build. Now... We're gonna do a couple of uh, a couple of questions in here. Um, first, I'm gonna build out Ahsoka first, since I think she is the centerpiece. Even though I think Luke is gonna be a little more expensive than Ahsoka, um, she's the centerpiece. She's the new she's the new the new uh, the new shiny object on the uh, on the tabletop. So um, so for Ahsoka, we're going to run some pretty cool upgrades. We're going to run uh, we're going to run her in the defensive stance. So we'll start with our trainings first. Uh, offensive defensive stance we're going to keep her in defensive stance she's going to be taking uh she's going to be taking do uh, dodge actions getting two dodge tokens and that's going to be awesome for her uh we're also going to give her tenacity tenacity is just a phenomenally good uh thing an extra red die when you attack as long as you're wounded and if, of course if you're not wounded then that's a good problem to have uh it means you're a full health murder machine uh so i love it uh we're going to give her some force upgrades too um, now, Force Push is something your Jedi just need to have. Force Push is just great, especially when a little pesky B1 unit wants to, you know, walk up in there and be like, I will now do my thing and melee you, and you can't move, and you have to cut through all of us, but you don't have enough dice to do so. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing voices today. Uh, we're going to give her Force Push. Uh, but I'm also going to give her, we, we have some options. We definitely have some options. You don't even have to do the second Force option, uh, but I'm going to give her Force Reflexes. <clears throat> she's not going to be able to get these uh, refreshed as easily, but she does have command cards that can let her recover. So while she doesn't have Master of the Force, she can use this. And she also won't be very, you know, very flexible on when she uses this one, though. But Force Reflex is not a bad option for, for Ahsoka Tano. Um, for Luke, we're going to give him a couple of things. First off, he is also going to get Tenacity. Uh, I love Tenacity on Luke. As you know, I got seven black dice, and then he has a red die on top of that. It's just incredibly good. Luke also has Surge to Crit natively. Uh, just, just complete bonkers uh, dice, just complete craziness. I love it. 
It's very, very cool stuff. Um, Luke is going to also get, uh, he's got some cool command cards. Luke has a lot of command card options. Uh, and, and I want to have the chance to turn somebody's own units against them. So I want to give him the Jedi mind trick. Uh, he's one of the few Jedi that I actually will run this with in the game. It's light side only. It's a free action. It will exhaust, and it's going to give somebody two suppression tokens. This is actually, I think the value of this card has gone up since, uh, since AMG changed the rules a little bit and how panic works, because now all of a sudden you can just give somebody those suppression tokens and they drop, uh, drop an objective. And so that can be really, really cool, potentially, depending on who you give the tokens to. So I really like that. Um, and also it makes some command cards work like you serve your master well. makes that work a little bit better for you also. Um, so we have that one. Uh, I'm also going to give him Force Reflexes. Um, he doesn't have uh, the ability to get a free dodge like Ahsoka does. So he, he might need Force Reflexes. Uh, he also has Master of the Force 1, so he can get that free dodge every turn which is going to be good for him. Uh, now, a lot of people would put force, uh, uh, force push on Luke also. You certainly can, uh, but, but since he has disengaged and I've got Ahsoka that may be close to him that also has force push, I feel like I'm, I can possibly get away without running force push on this guy uh, and uh, in favor of burst of speed. Um, now, you, of course, you could opt to drop Jedi Mind Trick and then run both of them, or opt to drop Force Reflexes and run both of them, or something crazy. You could do a lot of things. There's a lot, you know, if only we had four or even five Force Upgrades, then we could just put everything on Luke, but I had to make some choices. I wanted to go with Burst of Speed for this particular build, and, and one of the reasons for that, too, is that, I mean, he has Charge, so it's going to work well on him, but also this is going to be a little bit more of a close-range build. A little bit more of a close range build. We're gonna be we're gonna be charging in. We're gonna be having fun, and I think fun is an important thing to think about. Okay, uh, so while we are doing all of that, we gotta we gotta put some other stuff in this build. I mean, we don't have a commander. Well, I want to run a generic rebel officer. Now, I could definitely run Leia here. Uh, Leia is an option, but points are a reason I'm gonna run a generic rebel officer, uh, and I'm gonna give that rebel officer just vigilance. Just Vigilance. Vigilance, great card. It's gone up significantly in points. It has. But he's going to use Take Cover. He's going to inspire a little bit. He's not going to be as cool as Leia. And one of the reasons I'm not running Leia, too, is I'm going to have so many command cards uh, that I'm not going to be able to run, like, Leia's command cards. So, like, part of the cost of putting Leia out there is, is like, you're getting access to some really cool command cards. And I'm like, well, the Rebel Officer is going to be almost as good. You know, I mean, Leia's still good, but since I've already got Luke and Ahsoka Tano, I'm like, I'm can't really have Leia. Uh, and I also want a different commander also. I'm going to run Lando Calrissian. Lando Calrissian in this build. It is absolutely bonkers that I'm running Lando. Uh, Lando's going to have a couple of things. Not too much, though. We're not running a heavy Lando Calrissian. We're running a light Lando Calrissian. Uh, we are going to give him Vigilance also. Now I've got two commanders that are giving us Vigilance. And we're also going to give Lando uh, duck and cover uh, to work with his uncanny luck a little bit. Maybe he can possibly survive. Uh, people may want to try and kill him right away uh, because one of the things that he is bringing to this, uh, this, this game is the ability to utilize Ahsoka Tano's cards and Luke Skywalker's cards. I think Lando works really well with Luke, and I think Ahsoka works really well with Luke. And so I think these three can work together because of his contingencies three. That's going to factor in when we're building command cards because we're going to be able to run, you know, Luke has six cards all on his own. We can run Lando cards. We can run Ahsoka cards. We can run Luke cards. And we can have the flexibility to say, hey, you know what? I don't need to use, you know, you serve your master well right now. So I can leave that in contingencies or something like that. I think this is going to give us some cool command card flexibility, and it's going to add to the fun factor of this game because you're going to have a lot more choices to make with your command cards. And you'll be able to make those choices because of Lando. So, so really fun stuff there. I do have some more of the list I have to build out. We're already at 588 points, though, folks. So this is not going to be a high activation count list. But that's okay. A lot of rebel, rebels can get high activations really, really easy. And, uh, of course, if we wanted more activations, we could, you know, drop Lando and put some other core in there and some, you know, some strike teams and all that other stuff. But no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to have some fun here. All right. So we're going to, uh, let's, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We are going to put in some Rebel Troopers. I like Rebel Troopers. And we're going to give them the Z6 because I love the Z6. Um, the Rebel Troopers are going to have also a Rebel Trooper Captain. 
and it's going to help them and hopefully maybe stop a panic or something like that, or at least stop a suppression uh, when the time comes. But it's also going to give them training, and they're going to take an offensive push. Offensive push is always going to be nice when I've got all of that rebel shenanigans. Um, and I'm going to also give them targeting scopes. So now all of a sudden there are rebels that can make some really nice use of aim tokens. They can take an aim. They can then move, take another free aim, and then re-roll all those nasty, sick, nasty white dice from that Z6 guy. Re-roll a couple of extra times. Could be really cool stuff. One of the things I usually like to do in, in this type of a Rebel Trooper build also is I like to add the Fragmentation Grenades because these guys go from, like, you know, black dice to only upgrading to red dice, but they go from no surge to surge to crit if you can get into range one. But I don't think my Rebel Troopers are going to be able to get that close of a range. I think it's going to be, you know, if anybody's getting that close, it's going to be Luke and Ahsoka getting that close of range. So I don't really think these guys are going to get that close. And also, I turned out to, like, use all of my points elsewhere. So, sorry, no, no, no frag grenades on these guys. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to add some different, different uh, Rebels. We're going to add Rebel Veterans. I, I, I do like Rebel Veterans. We're going to, and since we added a Rebel Veteran, we can add a Mark II. Mark II is going to go in there. I'm not putting anything on the Mark II. Rebel Veterans are going to kind of fill us out. We're going to put the CM-093 Trooper on the Rebel on there. It's just, it's just a good, I mean, we've already got Surge to hit on the Rebel Veterans. The CM-093 has Critical II. Uh, gives us a little bit of, uh, a little bit of anti-vehicle potential. Uh, a lot of, a lot of good stuff on the CM-093. It's just a great, just a great heavy weapon all around. Range 1 to 4, 4 white dice, Critical two, boom, it's just so you're still beautiful. Uh, we're going to put some other things on here, too. We'll put the Rebel Comm Technician. I like the Rebel Comm Technician on this. Always have. Uh, he comes with HQ Uplink. I'm going to put HQ Uplink on there. Now, all of a sudden, we got a really, really nice-looking unit coming together. And what the heck? We're going to put one more thing on there. we put Recon Intel. <clears throat> What's beautiful about Recon Intel on the Rebel Veterans, now they get to deploy outward a little bit. They get to deploy forward just a little bit farther. And then when you drop your Mark II, he gets to go just a little bit farther because you're, he has to deploy at a, at a speed one move of, of your Rebel Veterans. And since they're a little bit farther out, it gives you a little bit more battlefield deployment ability. Now, that puts me at right at 800 points. Now, if we want to have a bid, I think you could drop Duck and Cover off of Lando. You could potentially drop Recon Intel off of the Rebel Veterans. Those are like two easy drops if you wanted to have a bid. But I don't believe in bids. I believe in having a list that's going to just lose regardless or going to have a good time regardless. Uh, let, let's talk about command hands, though, because this is going to be an important thing. It definitely is. All right, so we got some we got some options. We, and, and I love how um, Tabletop Admiral has the whole you add it normally or the C for contingencies. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to go with uh, look at some of our one pips first. Um, I, I definitely want Ahsoka's one pip. I am no Jedi. Amazing card. Uh, it's it, and since she's kind of like the centerpiece of this build, I gotta have her in there. She's going. She's going in straight up as a one pip. I also want Son of Skywalker. Um, incredibly overpowered card. Gotta have it. It's beautiful. Um, now I also said I wanted you serve your master well, but since this one is more situational. Uh, I'm going to add this one to contingencies. Now, normally, when looking at a Lando build, one of the things I like to do is just put all of Lando's cards in my contingencies. So normally, I would just go boom, 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 and I've got all of Lando's. This way, if Lando, as long as Lando's alive, I can always use the contingencies. But if I lose Lando, I also lose access to the contingencies. But in this case, I'm not really, this build isn't about Lando as much, so I don't necessarily need all of Lando's cards in the contingencies. I'm going to actually use Lando to help everybody else. <clears throat> and in this case, you serve your master well is going to be a very situational card where if, if I need it, it's going to be great. But if not, that's okay. So I'm going to pull that. I'm going to put that one into my contingencies. That's my one pip that's going in the contingencies. Love it. It should work. Now for our two pips, uh, I really like Luke's My Ally is the Force. It's very flexible. It's just two troopers. We're all troopers. It doesn't have to be Luke. Uh, and it gives a dodge token. So this is good for Ahsoka is going to get a dodge. So I can do it to Luke and Ahsoka, ideally. Um, and they'd each gain a dodge token. It's going to be tremendous on each one of them. Um, that one's definitely going in. Uh, it's a very good one. Uh, and, and then I also want Full of Surprises. Um, full of Surprises. This one is just incredibly 
crazy, especially if Luke does hit a burst of speed and goes kind of early and ends up moving out in into an enemy territory and has this crazy strong you know surprise long range attack we kill somebody all of a sudden now we're out in the open and we might get shot to death uh, I, I really like full of surprises it's a great great way to keep luke alive when he overextends uh the problem is i just put both of my two pips in there and i don't have room for ahsoka tano and she has two two pips so First off, we've got Family Reunion. Not using that one. I'm not running Sabine in this list. So I think it's pretty easy to say, yeah, that one's that one doesn't need to go up, up in here. Um, the other option is uh, we have Swift Protector. This one's not necessarily bad. It, it is an option to go in there. Uh, but it's, I don't think it's as good as the, the two pips that I have uh, with Luke right now. So I think this is one I would run if I was just running Ahsoka. Um, I don't know if she's going to need Guardian. She's probably going to be running with Luke, and you know they'll be probably doing about the same. Um, in this case, uh, I'm going to I'm going to run Ace up his sleeve. I really like this card uh, for Lando, and um, and it just it gives me it gives me some you know it's one of those cards I can just play anyway. So this is just I think this is one of Lando's best cards. Uh, I'm going to put that one in there. Plus, <clears throat> in the event I lose uh, both Ahsoka and Luke, uh, I'm going to have I'm going to have Lando. And so I need to have at least some of Lando's cards in here as well. But obviously not in all of his cards. And that's the thing when you bring more than more than two named characters, you definitely have to start making some tough decisions on what does not make the cut. And especially in the case of Luke and Ahsoka that have really good cards, Lando kind of ended up losing out on some of the cut. All right, it's time for it's time for three pips now. So we've got some some tough three pips. Um We've got Return of the Jedi, which is just a, a good one, removing suppression. Uh, I've got this one here. I am a Jedi. I love this one. I love this one. Um, but it's also very situational, right? It's like, oh, I, I'm going to choose two troopers, and they can't perform attacks. This is insane when you go up against, like, Palpatine and Vader or something like that. But because it's going to be situational, and I want this to be sort of an all-comers type of build... Now, this one's going in my contingencies. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily want to play a, a three pip that means that Luke can't attack. But when the time is right for it, it's absolutely critical. So, <clears throat> absolutely going in contingencies. Again, uh, Lando really makes Jedi Luke's command cards. Like, you serve your master well and I'm a Jedi, but you're just phenomenally good. Now, for our three pips, um, I'm going to go with uh, a, a, new, a, a new beginning for Ahsoka. Uh, this is a good one. It's going to give uh, an aim or a dodge token. It's going to give Ahsoka Inspire two, which is going to be good for like later, later in the in, in the game when somebody's like holding you know uh, tokens. You don't want your troops to to panic or whatever. Um, it's going to be a good one. But not not only that, it's uh, it's also given a, either an aim or a dodge token. This is going to be good uh, if you know sometimes Luke needs an aim and doesn't have a way to get one right or or something like that. Um, so so I like that now. It won't be giving the aim to Ahsoka probably since she's going to be in defensive stance the whole game. So, but she cannot. But you have the option; you can take an aim or a dodge token. So, I just I like the way this works. I might even find myself in a in a position where I need to give it to like my Z six trooper or something like that. So, I just I really like this card. It, it works. Uh, and then we're gonna go with Return of the Jedi, um, removing suppression. Uh, Luke Skywalker and two units. Just a good, good card all around uh very very nice stuff now <clears throat> funny thing is all of my prime cards are not uh, my commanders they're all operatives even though this is a commander luke card you know operative luke is is using using all of that so those are our commands um when it comes down to our battle plan stuff, uh, I think I, you know I'm, I'm not as flexible on these. Uh, I like hostage exchange because I've got a couple of Jedi. We can get in there. We're really fast. We can go and slice up your your guys. We got force push in there also that we can push people back. So hostage exchange works good for that. I mean, I'm always a fan of sabotage the moisture evaporators. Recover the supplies could work. Um, I also feel like payload could potentially work. It's um, it's a little risky, but I think like having like Luke with burst of speed or something like that, potentially being able to like run in, drop a bomb, and then run out or something could be could be really fun. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, that's uh, that's bombing run. I mean, payload can work too, but let, let me go with bombing run here. Um, 
for some of these, I'm I'm starting to like hemmed in a little bit more. I'm, I'm more likely to be a little bit closer to my opponent, which can be good, but also gives me these big areas on the side that I can uh, that I can go ahead and 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 put some objectives in. If I you know, if I want to put moisture evaporators kind of closer to me and farther away from my opponent, I can do that, and uh, they can, you know I can have some defensible objectives. Uh, I like major offensive. I like danger close here as well. Uh, and I, I feel like Disarray could work, uh, but I'm going to go with Battle Lines because I, that's always a comfortable one for me. Uh, for a lot of these, I definitely like Supply Drop. I love the idea of getting some Bacta, and it's always, and Supply Drop is just a fun one. Um, I could kind of go with War Weary to an extent here since I have like fewer core that really are at risk of this. Um, I've, I've got... A rebel veterans and a rebel troopers. Uh, the, the Mark II has courage of two, so I'm less worried about that. But I mean, I, the rebel officer has inspire. Um, you know, I, I just um, I don't think I'm going to have too much as far as suppression to worry about Luke and Ahsoka and and and, and everybody like that. And and I think War Weary is going to work also well with with Luke uh, having Force Reflex and I'm sorry Jedi Mind Trick. I think that's going to help as well. So we've got that. I definitely want limited visibility. I don't want to be sniped on the first couple of rounds. It's going to let me get closer. So limited visibility is a very good one there. Uh, and I think hostile environment is going to work with this as well. <clears throat> very fun stuff too. Also cool with force push. Like, oh, uh, we're, we're touching the end thing, so we're going to lose our suppression. No, I force pushed you off of it. And now you don't get to remove your suppression at the end of the round. And that's cool. Or you could always put clear conditions in there too if you're looking for something kind of crazy with all of that. So those are just some of our cards. Um, but but I think this will be a fun list. I think it'll be a fun one. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. I want to hear some of your thoughts. What are you thinking uh, about Ahsoka? Do you uh, want to run Ahsoka and Sabine? Because she certainly seems like she could run really well with Sabine. I've even he heard of people, uh, you know, Leia sounds like a good option to run with her. Uh, also, Commander Luke as another potential that, that you know, relieves the need for that commander option. Uh, I think there's a lot of really cool ways to run Ahsoka, but I think this would be a really fun way to kind of run Ahsoka and a Jedi Luke together and, uh, and have a dangerous... Uh, powerful force. I want to hear some of your thoughts, though. Let me know down in the comments section. Also, join our Discord. we got links in the description below. You can check all of that stuff out. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today and hanging out with me. A uh, big thanks to my patrons. You guys are amazing and help make this whole channel possible. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Kawabunga. Nunchucks forever. And always fear the marinara sauce river of meatball-flavored goodness.